they want to talk about how we shouldn't ban guns because that's hurting our freedom. How about abortion? We're forcing women to have kids. How is that freedom? Yeah. And then they don't want to get the vaccine. They say my body, my choice for the vaccine. Well, a simple explanation to my body, my choice when it comes to face masks, but not my body, my choice when it comes to abortion, unless it personally impacts them. Let's keep it real. Let's be serious right now. But the simple explanation behind that is that, you know, they just view abortion as wrong and they view masks as wrong as well. So you see these two things don't coincide because in order for them to go about thinking about things the way they do with the viewpoints that they have they have to have their worlds about like this you know not not maybe a little bit but you see the bigger the box gets the more space there is for nuance and gray area you see and in order to be ignorant you have to stay ignorant you see so after a while especially when we're talking about adults you have to keep yourself ignorant on purpose so, you know, again, at the end of the day, that it's really just that simple. They think that, you know, making people wear masks is against their rights, but they think that, you know, an abortion, even a conception, look at Oklahoma, what they just did, that's murder. And because that's murder and that's wrong, there's no gray area. There's no nuance. There's no argument to be had. What are we even talking about? One of the things that they say is like guns are our last line of defense against tyranny from the government. If the people aren't heavily armed, then the government will start overreaching and taking our freedoms away step by step. I think that's ridiculous because if the government really wanted to get rid of us, like they have the ability to do so. Like they're not going to come to your house and knock your door down. They're going to cause mass destruction and use these huge weapons of war. Also, it's the police that are going to take your guns. Yeah. What happened to Back the Blue when it came to Antifa and BLM? Yeah, sure. Are you going to shoot the police? And the reality is, even simple measures like universal background checks and just making it a little bit more difficult for people to actually obtain weapons, making them go through more interviews, interviewing their family and friends, just adding a few more steps like that would absolutely make it easier for people to weed out those of us who should not have these types of weapons. I mean, you know, if you're really not out here trying to commit harm, then you shouldn't have a problem going through that. And most people, most logical people have no issue with that. It's the corruption that's the problem and we know that. So, you know, the reality is, is that there's not gonna be some overarching, you know, action taken to take everyone's weapons away because that would cost a lot of political capital. It would cost a lot of human capital and it would cost a lot of monetary capital. So really, we just need simple measures. We, we don't even need extreme measures because the reality is when it comes to extreme measures, that's not going to happen in this country. And if it does, it ain't going to happen no time soon. So people's fear of, oh, they're going to come take all my guns away. Like, no, they're not. That's not going to happen. That's not even something that people want in mass. It's just not. So how do you feel about guns? I believe you have the right to own a firearm, but I do not believe you should be 18 years old to be able to have an AR. I'm 19, so I'm not able to drink beer. That kid that showed up in Uvalde, two days after he turned 18, he bought an AR. You bought two ARs? Yes. Like you said, you're 19, then you can join the army, you can join the military, you can be like a prop used for violence in the United States, but you can't drink it's just so limited and ridiculous so do you believe in banning assault rifles i mean if we were like able to yes but we have more guns than we have people it should be like driving like you're getting a driver's license there should be continually training every year and then let's talk about just the worst common argument ever like we have to have these weapons because if we don't the government's gonna come and they're gonna subjugate all of us you know set aside the fact that the government has much larger weapons, much larger caliber weapons than we could, than the citizenry could ever even operate, could ever even have the skills to operate. You know, the missiles they have, the, the, the helicopters, the jets, the, the bioweapons. I mean, let's, let's, so outside of that, then they have the trained personnel, the young, able bodies who are able to, you know, carry out stealth missions. They have access to just overriding all of our technology. They can just tap into our computers, our laptops, our cars. I mean, literally any way that they want to get to us, they already can do that. So, the, the, you know, that argument is just totally ridiculous on its head because you could be somebody who has 300 guns in your house. But at the end of the day, you're just one person. And that's why I said nobody's trying to come take all your weapons. And, and, and even were that the case you could buy a hundred more guns and if the government really wanted to come get you wouldn't be a damn thing you could do about it
So, you know, the irony is just endless here. And it's a fight that we're going to have to continue to keep on fighting.